I'm Johnny. It's time for Antological Design. The Corvair spacecraft has apparently been taken over, conquered, if you will, by a master race of giant space ants. Not like that. And I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. Ontological design, sorry, ontological design is the design of the feedback loop between humans and the designed world. And this came up on the creation inception video. Thanks to Zero Point for this comment turning me onto this, because this is a really interesting concept. Okay, so what is ontological design? First, let's just dive a little bit into what's ontology. Ontology is the philosophical study of the nature of being. So That's some pretty heavy duty shit. shit. Ontological design can be broken down into three major cornerstones, if you will. Three key ideas. First, design is more pervasive and more profound than generally recognized, which is to say that not only is everything that we do essentially designed, but also the effect on us is more profound than we realized. Second, design is fundamental to being human and is a part of our human nature. And I feel this is related to the idea just as a nest and an egg is a chicken's way to make another chicken, so too is the egg and chicken a way for a nest to make another nest. And third, we design our world and our world designs us. Okay, so what does this all mean? Well, to be perfectly honest here, like I'm not even on stage one of Bloom's taxonomy. I'm really just scratching the surface here and only just starting to explore. I wanna try and start generating conversations about this because this is fascinating and there isn't a whole lot out there. And there isn't a whole lot out there that I've been able to find that's also easily accessible. There's this one video on YouTube and I'll link out to it cause it's all right, but it's like full of very emotional music and very uplifting and says a lot without really saying anything. And I want to dive more into like the hows and the whys, and this is more a what is, but then so too is in this video. So let me give you a real concrete example. Let's talk about doorways and especially doors. So our brains kind of get fucked up every time we walk through a doorway or a door. It's a little bit of a brain fart that people have noticed. It's like your brain is wandering along and thinking one particular train of thought. You go through this doorway way your environment changes and all of a sudden you've lost it and that's happened to me you know losing it this is part of the unintentional ontological design that happens to us or priming so what if we designed with that in mind and not just as architects, but also just as creative people with creative spaces. And I'm not entirely certain how one does that yet. Now, another idea I have is I love the acid techno, but I also really love the chilled out atmospheric drum and bass. You want to talk about your yins and your yangs. These are two very different styles. Don't even mention vaporwave. What if I reconfigured my space whenever I was doing an acid techno track versus doing a drum and bass track. I suspect that my brain would start to make certain associations between say that squealing 303 and those chilled out warm pads and jungly rhythms. But again, I'm only just scratching the surface. And one more question I wanna throw out there. So if you've done any work in any kind of design at all, web design or architecture or software design, you've probably run into these things called patterns and pattern languages. Basically, it's a statement of a problem and then a solution, most likely in a recipe form, to solve the problem. And it's a surprisingly useful asset in a creative endeavor. So I did a bit, again, scratching surface, of research on ontological design patterns and I found basically nothing. More research is clearly needed. Well, not specifically about ontological design, the 99% Invisible podcast is unfucking believable You just should go listen to it. It is amazing. And their whole shtick is the hidden factors at play in our designed world, which it's pretty close to what I'm talking about here. All right. So thanks again, Zero Point. It's a great comment. I'm glad you turned me on to this. I can't wait to explore this more. And until next time. I'd like to remind them that as a trusted TV personality, uh, I can be helpful in rounding up others to toil in their underground sugar caves. Designing our ant overlords is fun.